Okay, I'll call the uh, meeting to order of the Town and the County Select Board on uh, Monday, May 1st at 6.01 p.m. Uh, first thing on the agenda is the minutes for Monday, April 24th, and the minutes for Tuesday, April 25th. Uh, make a motion to approve them. Uh, they were good to me. I, I second it. No, 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 nothing yep. doing it? Good. Hey. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay, warrants. So we have a vendor warrant for $57,627. We have a payroll warrant for $94,947. And we have a payroll deduction warrant for $24,942. Make a motion we approve them. Uh, so move. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. Approved. Okay, done. Meetings attended by the Board of Selectmen. I know Bob and I and, and John met a, uh, last week with the uh, our town lawyer and uh, to discuss the UCC property. That was a very informative meeting, I thought. Yeah. Uh, ongoing, trying to figure out what they're going to be doing with their tornado relief efforts down there at the church. So, so ongoing. Other than that, I guess that's the only one I attended. Uh, well, I did go to a meeting with Stan Rosenberg about education spending, not exactly just for Conway, mm -hmm. but it was, you know, uh, and, and I'm not an education expert, but uh, they talked about a lot of the things that we've talked about, how okay. to pay for school. No, seven? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, next item is citizens' concerns. I don't see any citizens' concerns, and I guess we can, unless you know of any. Nope. Okay. Old business. We don't have any old business that I know of. New business. Set the date for meeting to review the Mark and Mildred Boyce Germain Fund scholarship applications. Tom, you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah. Every year, the select board as trustees of the trust funds uh, gathers together uh, all of the applications for scholarships. Uh, from the Mark and Mildred, Mildred Boyce Germain Fund, and uh, I, I believe Lisa has been uh, preparing those. And all you need to do is set a time, and you can come in, and you'll all have copies of all of the applications. We do ask that you return them afterwards, and we'll we'll shred them all. We'll keep one copy for the files. So <coughs> when are they going to um, be available? I have them now. Is the deadline passed for some? Dead, yes, the deadline passed. Okay. And I have, I think, seven um, applications that need to be reviewed. Okay, so you're going to put a packet together for all three of us? Yeah, I have the packets all put oh, together. Good, good. Um, last year it was just a, f I'm, I, I was looking at the time frame that it happened last time around, and it was right the first select board meeting of May when the date to review them was set mm -hmm. and it was later that same week um, so I'm thinking that it, you know this the sooner the better because there are a couple people that um, the frontier school likes to know about um, so that they can put them in their graduation mm -hmm. program and whatnot um, so whenever you can meet um, maybe later this week. And do we do this all together at a three at one meeting? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll, you'll get the individual packets and rank them separately. Mm -hmm. um, and then we come together and uh, put them put them together and when, and when we uh, when we uh, when we do that we usually refer to them by number. We give each mm -hmm. each application a number. And Jan will give us the balance in the accounts, hopefully. Yes, I, I think we have that. We have that information. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. And do we know when John hey. can do it? John said he it was up to you to pick a date and he would be there. I asked him today when he called the office. So, um, What's good for you, Bob? Well, can we get, the, get them today and then yeah, bring them back? You, I can give you the packets. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'd love to do it on a day like Thursday, but... Mm -hmm. Or Friday. Don't time. know if you can wait that long, but. Time Thursday. Six, uh, five, four. 
I don't know if John last can year make it during the morning. Oh, that's right. It was in the morning last so, time. I don't know how that happened, but it was not an evening meeting. I've got an FCAD board meeting on Friday night. So, I mean, for me, 5 o'clock would be great. But, oh, Friday? Uh, no, Thursday. Oh, Thursday. Are you ready to But, but any time, really. I, I could do it any time Thursday. You want to do it Thursday morning? Afternoon, 3 o'clock? 3 o'clock, that'd be okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, Thursday, 3 p.m. 4th. 4th, maybe. Okay. And hopefully John can make it. And you said 3 p.m., right? 3 p.m., yeah. <coughs> we'll take a sweet little an hour to do it, I think. Okay, the next item, sign authorization of designation of agent and contract renewal for heating oil. And um, there's actually, uh, on the actual authorization, there's just space for one signature, and I already filled it out for John because I didn't know he was okay. going to be here. But if I can just tell you about it, and yeah. if you could approve it, then he can sign it. Okay. Uh, uh, the, the people we've been using to do this are the Lower Pioneer Valley Educational Collaborative. Mm -hmm. And they run a program similar to the FERCOGS procurement program, except uh, when, we, when we tested them out one time, we found that uh, we were getting a better price through uh, this Lower Pioneer Valley Educational Collaborative. And uh, we get uh, number two heating fuel oil from them and uh, we're asking we, we actually haven't used up much of what we got from last year so we're asking just for 600 gallons this year it's not it's not a lot um, they'll largely use up our allegations. yeah yeah it was a mild winter mm -hmm. so um, there there are two things one is um, to authorize them as our agent for the fixed price futures program, mm -hmm. where uh, the fellow there waits until and watches the prices, and he's been doing it for many years and has always gotten us a really good price for it. Um, and then the other is um, the actual authorization to buy for, uh, on our behalf. So those are the... Uh, and we sign two things like this every year? And yeah. We have to make them our agent every year? Yeah. Okay, I'll make a recommendation that we approve the uh, range series for the Lower Pioneer Valley Educational Collaborative for 600 gallons of heating oil for this next fiscal year. And we allow them to be their awarding authority. Uh, any motion? Uh, so move. All Thank in you. favor? Aye. Okay. I think and that was Bob's motion and uh, yep. okay. So and I second. Made I mean Robert's motion and Bob's second. second. Yep. Yeah. He wasn't asking for a motion. And he also uh, the next one is to uh, uh, Tom. going to help me out here. Frank Roberts, Roberts Energy LLC. Oh, this is the buy it. Uh, th this is it? this is the the giving them authorization to buy it for okay. us. One of them is to contract for it, and the other is to buy it. Uh, which was the first one, the contract? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The next one is for the purchase of the agent. To, act, to yeah. act our as our agent. I'll make a motion. We approve it. Second. All in favor? Aye. Yep. I'll approve it. Great. Do we sign it? Or? No, John. John will sign it? Okay, great. John can sign it. Okay, next item. Uh, anything anticipated 48 hours in advance of the meeting? Nothing that came, in? came in unanticipated from me. Okay. Uh, town administrator's up, sir. Up, update. Excuse me, I can't even say yeah, it. An update. Oh, hello. Let me uh, add to it. Um, for uh, committee activity, I've been working with Parks and Rec and the Highway and Superintendent on ball field issues, which are different than the uh, outfield drainage issue we had before. There's water in the infield that needs to drain off, and Parks and Rec is asking a professional 
uh, this is John Heffernan that, that, that he knows about for advice. Okay. Uh, the Energy Committee is looking forward to a blower door test Thursday at the Town Hall, which will demonstrate how effective the air sealing has been. It also signals the approaching end of the major work done with the Green Community's mm. grant money. Awesome. Good. Uh, I've sent notes to the Capital Improvements Planning Committee and the Finance Committee about reviewing the long-term financial plan in preparation for signing off. We should have that done in the next couple of weeks in order to get word to Joe Markarian, who will pass it on to the state before he leaves for a vacation. Uh, once that gets approved, we can apply for further community contact funds. Uh, so if you know anybody on the Capital Improvements Planning Committee or the Finance Committee, you might. Oh, that's right. Why we in? Uh, you might. Uh, I, I, know one I haven't heard. Uh, well, from the chair. Well, I'll remind them. Um, and in departmental news, I procured a couple of new flags and have worked uh, American flags and have worked with Don Graham to put them up at the Veterans Memorial and the ball field. Mm -hmm. Both of them were in pretty bad shape. Uh, I think it's probably tornado damage, but the new ones are both up. Mm -hmm. So, so was there a cleanup at the ball field yeah. for the... What's the status of the cleanup time? You know? Yeah, um, there were volunteers that went around and they got a lot of stuff from within the ball field area, but there was still some slate on the... Uh, hillside. On, on the, on the mm. hillside, too. Um, so uh, Ron is having uh, um, our landscaper, uh, Bear River, um, yeah. Go and uh, and do that. He'll be uh, he'll be starting to mow the field soon anyway. Yeah, because yeah. kids love to slide down the hill. Yeah, yeah, that's the last thing they need. I heard that some of the kids that were doing the cleanup around the ball diamond actually cut their fingers on some of the slate where some were bleeding a little bit. It's sharp. how sharp it is. Mm. It is very just sharp. Yes. Up, I actually so. kept a couple of pieces just to uh, mm -hmm. just to have those around. So any idea what Tom? We don't know when he'll be doing it. Huh? No, uh, I don't know that offhand. <coughs> um, and yeah, he's also working to with uh, snows for the for the treatment, and maybe thinking of a little different regimen this year. But he's going to work that out with that. It looks quite good, color wise. Oh, yeah. Looks really good. This year. Yeah, there there are some patches in the infield in the in the ball field that shouldn't be there, so it, it'll need some more attention but there. It looks better than it did last year. Yeah, okay. yeah, a lot yeah. better. Yeah, well, that's good. I or think, for many years. I think, yeah. I think it's coming in, coming in pretty well in okay. most of the field. Yeah, but the infield is a little patchy, and balls are taking some strange hops. So we're looking into that too. Okay. It's not family park. Hey, concerns of the selectman? Bob, you got anything? No. No? Okay. Uh, mail? No mail, I guess, from what we understand. Other than this one piece of mail that came in from uh, from the uh, operational planning from yearly operational planning from Pan Am Railways. That's the railroad that comes through Conway on the northeasterly side of our town. Uh, they plan on, according to the letter here, I'll just highlight it quick like, they plan on commencing with the post-emergent herbicide application program on the rail tr yeah, uh, tracks somewhere around May 1st, but they don't know exactly what the date is yet and basically what they do. They, they just notify that there's a time, yeah, they go through and create a herbicide. So is that herbicide. down at the end of Station Road? Is that where they? Well, it's down at Bradley's Ferry. Yeah, yeah. And it goes all the way up to the... To Almost Shelter. to the crossing where it crosses Shelton Falls. Oh, yeah. Oh, Shelton yeah. Falls, yeah. Oh, uh, close to three miles, I guess, in common. I didn't actually never measure it, but it's further than you think it is up through there. Up by through the number two dam area. Yeah, yeah. And I, speaking of the number two dam, I understand we have new owners of number two dam now. Last mm -hmm. week, really? the new owners took over. Uh, and I cannot tell you. I'm waiting to get some clarification as to the. I've only heard the name mentioned once. And mm -hmm. can't remember what it is. So uh, I'm sure we'll be hearing from them very shortly. Yeah. They ever. Uh, the. Uh, well, I imagine you'd remember. The other company if, sold everything out on the day forever. I think you'd remember if it was Hydro Quebec. No, I don't. It's not. Oh, okay. I can't remember what it is. Sorry, but 
Anyway. I thought they were the ones who were buying up all the dams in the area. No, I don't. Maybe they were the last think it. This is a private, small company, they said, that bought them all. Hmm. They only had, previous to buying all these, they only had 100 employees. And now they have a lot more now. And the guys, I talked to the guys, who they were previously employed there, and they said they were all offered jobs to the new company. So. Oh, good. Good. This one. Yeah. That's a people, someone from Charlotte and stuff. So. We'll, I'm sure we'll be hearing from them shortly. So. Hmm. Okay. All right. That's the only nine any announcements, Bob? No? no. Okay, our next meeting will be May 8th. That's next Monday, right? At 6 p.m. here at the town office. That'll be prior to the town meeting. Mm hmm. 7.30 at the Conway Grammar School. 7.30 at the Town Grammar School. And I'll make a motion we adjourn this meeting and go down to our preliminary, uh, what do you call it? Pre town, Pre -town meeting. Pre town meeting potluck. Dessert, it, dessert potluck. Yeah. Dessert <laughs> potluck. Yeah. Meeting. Uh, have a motion to adjourn? Yes, uh, so move second. All in favor? Aye.